Nintendo has dropped a new Pokemon Legends Arceus gameplay trailer, and the Riddler has more for us. Let's break it down. Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today, and today we're gonna be taking a look at a new trailer that dropped that's about 50 seconds long from Nintendo themselves, not Pokemon, which is interesting. It's kind of like a commercial, but it does show some new gameplay footage, so we're gonna take a look at that. And then we're going to shift gears to the Riddler, who has been providing us with a ton of information, of course, about the game. They talk about some moves, some changes to the game, and they even retweeted something that points towards a lot. And then, last but not least, we're going to talk about Legends Arceus and the game itself leaking, and something that may be a big change for that. So, a lot to uncover in this one. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you guys enjoyed this video, and subscribe to the channel if you're new so you don't miss out on the Legends Arceus leaks, and of course, everything else. I'm going to be covering this game and having a blast playing it, so stay tuned to the channel. Don't forget, you can head over to TeamShotty.com, pick up some awesome merch. You can see the different shirts I have on the screen here. They look amazing, so be sure to pick them up at TeamShotty.com. Use code Arceus for 15% off. You pick up three shirts or more, deck out your closet now. Let's take a look at this trailer, and let's break it all down. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the new trailer. Should be good. Uncover a new kind of Pokemon adventure. We got a nice little voice over there. You've ever seen before. Cleaver looking clean. I love this scene. Reveal open areas as you traverse highlands, forests, and ancient ruins. A lot of shots we've seen already. To complete your mission. Discover, gather. It's a different shot. I don't know if we've, we've seen that Hippowdon shot, and obviously the Rapidash shot was different. It's an all -new That's sick. Pokemon experience. Pokemon and of course Arceus. Legends. Arceus. So, a couple things there that were a little bit different. Um, I don't Discovery. remember seeing this Hippowdon shot before, but we may have seen it. Uh, this one's definitely different. The Rapidash hitting the tree, much like we saw Snorlax hitting a tree in a previous uh, trailer. And then, I think there was one more scene, the Basque Legion leaping off the waterfall. We may have seen this before as well, but that is very epic. I think when you combine that with the, the jumping off the cliff for the Braviary... I feel like those are some pretty epic scenes. I hope we can actually do that, and it's not just for cinematics. But um, some pretty cool shots there, and I just continue to get more and more hype for Pokemon Legends Arceus every single day. There's no doubt about it. I cannot wait for this game to drop. Shifting gears now to the Riddler, who has been feeding us a ton of information. They come out to say that this move got a buff in Legends Arceus, and that is Hidden Power. Why would Hidden Power get a buff in Legends Arceus? It's kind of strange. For those who don't know, Hidden Power is actually removed from Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl unless an unknown has it. But it was previously a very popular TM in the Pokemon franchise that allowed Pokemon to get access to moves of any type based on their IVs. So, uh, very interesting that Hidden, Hidden Power is making a return. Maybe on unknown, maybe on something else. Maybe unknown has a more important part of the story in this game and unknown itself is getting a buff. A lot of questions about why Hidden Power is getting buffed. It's already been buffed in the past. It was previously a move that scaled based on your Pokemon's IVs, and I think it went up to 70 base power at one point, and then it went down to 60 base power, which ended up being uh, kind of useful because of Technician, but now it's always 60 base power, but this is saying it's getting buffed, so we'll have to wait and see. There could also be a handful of different changes in the in terms of moves because the two different strike styles, like the Agile style and the... I think it's Agile and Strike style. The two different styles that you're going to be able to do for combat. I'm getting the TCG mixed up, but nonetheless... I think that this is going to be very interesting. And the Riddler also goes on to say that this move got a buff too, but the same mechanism as my former tweet, which is Judgment. Now, Judgment is obviously the signature move of Arceus, which changes based on the type of plate that Arceus is holding. And it's saying that it has the same mechanism as my former tweet. And the mechanism of Hidden Power was that it's based on their IVs. So how is Judgment going to work when it's normally based on its type? I don't know, but ultimately Riddler coming out to say that both Judgment and Hidden Power are indeed buffed. And we'll have to wait and see how that plays out, but it makes a lot of sense for Judgment to be buffed. It's already a very strong move, but in the context of Arceus being the focal point of this game, or at least the final boss potentially, uh, it makes sense for them to make it a little bit stronger. From there, uh, the Riddler actually retweets this uh, Twitter account that says, Just my speculation, currently we have many unknown characters. And this post here seems to be some relatively accurate speculation as the Riddler has tweeted it. Like, why would he retweet it if he didn't find it to be legit? And it shows the various Wardens and their Pokemon. 
and how they kind of tie together so it actually shows that one of the riddler's earlier posts actually showing agatha and, and i believe it's bertha and their relation to uh ursaring uh shows of course um the sneasel and the sneasel evolution being poison and fighting a pokey girl he called her a pokey waifu having the braviary um showing the lilligan and that being the ladylike pokemon that we've been waiting for and confirming its typing here as being fighting in grass we'll have to wait and see uh showing that there's a, a someone's wife is actually going to have the arcanine the electrode and then the avalug as being all the different kind of um pokemon that you have to face as kind of like the keeper pokemon and it seems as though we have looks like 10 different ones there then it shows off Zoroark and of course Gudra. Gudra been talked about as being a Pokemon that's going to get a Dragon and Steel type form from the Riddler. A lot of this stuff is already, like I said, kind of basically believed to be true because the Riddler has been so accurate. Riddler Koo has been so accurate in so many of the things that they've said at this point. I don't think anyone's really doubting this yet. Um, and then you've got kind of the fourth of the nature Pokemon, which is supposed to be pivoted off of Thunderous, Tornadus, and Landorus. We haven't seen what that Pokemon is. But it seems as though the map itself is going to be divided into four quadrants potentially and the different um, nature pokemon are going to be spread throughout and then quillfish being dark and poison in this uh with an evolution i'm very excited to see the potential of that i definitely believe in the quillfish evolution we saw the teaser in bdsp in the book uh, of a quillfish with very large spikes so that is something i'm excited about and of course the starter pokemon decidueye typhlosion and samurott having um their new evolutions their hisuian variants fighting in grass a little disappointed that we already have the lilligan with the same typing if that's the case the fire and ghost typhlosion and of course the water and dark samurai to kind of round things out so interesting that riddler Koo did retweet this and tweet this post out it's very possible this is the most accurate post that we've seen so far and they wanted to cover it or kind of present it to everybody but uh, I'm still waiting on that trailer this week, guys. I I've been waiting for it. We're going to be two weeks away on Friday. Uh, obviously, we've been getting bits of information from Nintendo, but nothing from Pokemon yet. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out over the next couple days. And last but not least, as talked about on the Poke League subreddit here, the required size for the base game has been reduced from 13 gigabytes to 6 gigabytes. And this can be seen on the Switch eShop. This likely means the dumps won't show everything and we'll be getting a day one patch. Now... This could be a potential anti-piracy measure. It could be that the game is not finished, like happened with BDSP. I'm really not sure what to make of this. So when BDSP came out and it officially leaked, it was missing a lot of stuff. It was missing the proper soundtracks. It was missing a handful of different things. And then they released a day one patch. In fact, Pokemon actually came out with a statement saying, hey, listen, there's going to be a patch. Uh, <laughs> and we know that people are, are pirating it now. So the patch is coming out and it came out a few days before the game actually released. It's possible that Arceus is going to be the same. It's very possible that Legends Arceus is going to be dropping and there's going to be a day one patch for it. And we're going to have to wait until that patch comes out uh, to really find out what the full perspective of the game is. Now, with that all being said, and actually I think back to it, there were things missing like parts of the map, like rooms that you could go into were missing. So... We'll have to wait and see uh, until until the game actually leaks and we see the file size there we'll have to wait and see but this is a very interesting update they changed it to six gigabytes when we're expected to be 13. could the actual games that are shipping be missing a ton of information a very interesting precedent that seems to be set here by the pokemon company if that is indeed to be the truth so that's everything for the news today we talked riddler we talked leaks we talked new gameplay of course and then the file size which again very interesting I'm sure we'll find some more information about that over the coming days as we head into the weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like the video if you did. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new so you don't miss out on our epic Pokemon content. Check out TeamShotty.com to swag out your closet. And that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drop, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.